I swear to God, you little asshole. If your second movie sucks, then you will never see the, uh, hi. How are you doing, everybody? I forgot that I was recording this. Huh. Yeah. Too bad. I didn't know that was on. So, you're probably wondering why I'm strangling Spongebob. Probably for over the 118 episodes that Mr. Renner said that were bad. You know, animated atrocities of Spongebob. And I agree, I looked at that list and there was a... I agree with all the episodes and... It's official, Spongebob is one of the top five worst cartoons I have ever seen on that list. Also, by the, just to let you know, on the list are cartoons like Alan Gregory, Breadwinner, Secret Mom, and Ford Awesome. Cartoons in that range. Man, I'm going to this episode what I believe to be the worst episode of Spongebob. It's not Longer's Meal, or a Pal for Gary, or a Splinter. It's Squidward, a season four episode from the mixed season. If you want to see uh, another reviewer do this and watch Pie Guy Rules do it, he might be a little more... Um, how should I put this? He might keep his thoughts better than me. I tend to ramble. But anywho, anyway, stay here, please. Don't go to Pie Guy Rules. I mean, he's a good reviewer, but please wait here. Then you can go to... Watch the whole video, then go to him. So... Squidward of the I, I believe the worst episode, mainly because, my personally, it's my worst, because it put that thought in my head to think that Spongebob was not the little yellow sponge that I used to love. It was getting terrible. With all these, there was quite a few episodes in that season that I disliked, and then on and on, there were so many bad episodes that put in my head, and it all started with this one. This one. I freaking hate this episode! Sorry. Sorry I freaked out there. Anywho. So basically the episode has a mon uh, about one minute of Squidward trying to do different things, trying to have a nice day, la da 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 da, and then Mr. Creeper shows up. Hi Squidward, you wanna play? No. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm gonna rape you. What? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, no. That's basically what it, the first minute is. There's even a scene where Squidward's taking a bath and Spongebob's looking through the window with a creeper face worse than that one in Boating Buddies. And he's looking at him naked, so yeah, I do believe Spongebob really is gay. I'm not joking. I, these newer episodes make him seem gay. Honestly, why do, why do creators think that... Now, you may disagree with me on that thought. But that's just my opinion. You don't take it too seriously. Because, yeah. I don't want to start a whole controversy with Spongebob being gay and whatnot. I'm here to talk about this episode. So, Squidward finally tells Spongebob that he wants nothing to do with him. And surprisingly, he Spongebob actually listens to him. Yeah, and in more of a season 6 episode, that would just be the whole episode. Just Squidward trying to enjoy his day and Spongebob interrupting him. So what's Spongebob's solution? Make a mini squid, a ventriloquist dummy. It seems to work at first, <coughs> but then you go to the Krusty Krab and it all goes downhill. Squidward tries to do normal stuff like usually is, and then for some reason everybody's a dick. I mean, that's the main problem in modern Spongebob. My least favorite characters are the townspeople because they're all either idiots or assholes. Why can't it be like the townspeople in My Little Pony Fringeous Magic? They can be nice. They might have bad times, but hey, they can actually be nice. So, basically, Squidward tries to tell a joke to a couple people. It doesn't work. Then, when Squidward says, tries to take somebody's order, a townsperson um, gets really pissed at him. Like, he's saying, hey, right, fuck you. Want to order something, you bitch? That's basically what's... The townsperson was thinking because he goes on and on like, I don't like your attitude, mother blah 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 blah. So, little mini squid, Wood, Squid Wood, I hate that name. So basically, he does the, says the exact same thing and he's like, oh hey, yeah, you're good attitude, yeah, you have good attitude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, and two, the main two problems with this episode, no three, no four. 
a ton of problems. <coughs> First problem, it's way too mean-spirited towards Squidward. It's yet another Squidward torture porn. Well, that solves all the problems. Goodbye! Okay. That's not all the problems. Next problem is Spongebob. It's the Spongebob guy. Yeah. Nobody likes him anymore except for the little kids and... Um, how should I put this? It's This episode also shows that he's basically blind and stupid because he has seen Squidward's... He has taken away Squidward's life. Squidward's getting his life stolen by Spongebob because he's the controller of the dummy. And he doesn't seem to care. He's just got a happy grin on his face. <laughs> That is not pleasant. Ugh. Basically, I you think he liked him, Squidward, but nope. And apparently, he just wants a mini squid to steal his life. Next, next problem. Everybody's is an idiot in this episode. Seriously, nobody knows that the mini squid is a dummy. Seriously, when I was a kid, I thought to prove it, I would just chop him in half. I thought that as a kid. I am not joking. I would really be pissed at this episode. As a kid. Okay. Sorry. I just got burned out there. So basically, next problem, everybody's an asshole towards Squidward because there's a, a mini Squid who does the exact same things as Squidward. But everybody thinks it's fresh and new and he's all likable. Yeah, I'm guessing it's because, as we all know, modern Spongebob, the universe hates Squidward. That's basically the major problems with this episode. And that's basically most of the episode, just everybody disliking Squidward, liking the new mini Squid, and Squidward getting his life stolen. And it ends with uh, some talent agent, I think, taking mini Squid for... A record label or something and he insults Squidward pretty much Squidward cries has his dream hopes and dreams crushed again he better take some flowers to that grave or here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams that joke would have been actually really hilarious in this episode yeah and it ends with mini squid take getting taken away and a spongebob getting his own little mini spongebob that ends with just those two laughing obnoxiously. This episode sucks. One bronze star, one out of 15. It sucks. One of the worst. It's my worst episode. As I've said before, it got that SpongeBob is getting terrible thought in my head. How can just. It really pisses me off. How something can go from your favorite cartoon in the whole world to being one of the worst cartoons I've ever seen? It really pisses me off that this, and why am I taking this so seriously? I just for kids. I don't want kids watching this. It is that bad. I don't want uh, kids to watch a show where characters get driven to suicide, seeing graphic, horrible graphic images, and others trying to murder each other. That's basically why I hate Spongebob. Modern Spongebob, and why I hate Squidward one, the worst episode of that damn show. Alright, that's it for this episode. I got, I'm gonna stop this. What do you think of the episode? Did I overreact? I know I overreacted. I overreacted. This is all my opinion. Have your own opinion. I, I need to get that out of the way. Okay, so for real now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Squid at Baconator, and... I'm gonna find a way to kill that sponge before the second movie. I mean, bye!